All right, hello everyone, Ryan Strong here. I'm gonna show you my coal mine escape. Still have to change that icon, but it's, it still works. So, I'll show you my actual on the device. Now again, please remember, I am, um, unfortunately, I don't have anybody to help me like I did last week. So, I'm having to hold this down pretty low, uh, below my desk, between my legs, because um, it's just the only way I can do it, so. We'll go to the sandbox here first to show you that sandbox in there. So you got the sandbox, the buttons work, it turns. Again, this is just for the instructor's purposes, but I wanted to show it in there. And then go to the pause, go to quit. It takes you back here to the main part of the game. We're going to go ahead and start. And it's going to show that video to start, so we'll show that video real quick. I'm thinking about adding a uh, a form of a voiceover for this, just something short to kind of give the player a brief explanation so that they can uh, have a little bit of a story behind the game and then work out pretty well for them, I hope. And then you got that skip button there again, the explosion, and then the camera shakes. Hit skip, brings you right there. You got that nice explosion, all right? <clears throat> And then we'll go here and make this nice turn here. Nice sharper turn than if I use these buttons here. Works out really well. Um, there's still certain areas where you're going to need to slow down for a bit, but there's a reason for that. I mean, we don't want them to be able to take every single turn really easily. So, go through here. And Again, it's kind of complicated for me. So here's that explosion, and then you got that minecart coming out. And you're like, whoa, I need to avoid that. I'm thinking about adding some um, sharp turn icons, or um, uh, signs, I mean, to that area there. Here's your next explosion that I really like. Kind of saying, okay, something just happened over there. And then you see all this fire. And whoa, that's crazy. <clears throat> Again, this is really complicated for me to play from the position I'm in. I have to hunch over pretty low. And... Oh, I knew it was going to happen. But my respawn works, so that's one thing that's uh, very important, very helpful. Continue on and get towards the end so you can see the other explosion that I started to work on. After this uh, short turn here, I will add another turn, uh, another set of signs for this one right up here because it's another really sharp turn. And as you can see, that little bit of slide there. That's due to the adjustment of the slip. It makes it to where you can, no, nope. there we go. Makes it to where you, you can, you know, slide a bit. It's almost like a drift, but for the motorcycle, so. And I have another explosion here, which I added. I'm still working on if I want that to just stay there or I think what I'm going to do is add a series of explosions that goes off, kind of like a popcorn effect was uh, how it was explained to me that my idea. Um, so I think that would be pretty cool to have them constantly go off. And then, yep, you got that sign there. You get to the exit, and you're like, oh, thank goodness. You get your score, hit continue, and oh, I hit the button too quickly twice. But it takes you to the credits, <laughs> as we'll go to now. And you can see it's moving a, a little bit faster. So much better. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.